Hi everyone. I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how you can actually get the Zoom cloud recording registrants list using the Zoom REST API. Okay. And in this session, we will learn how you can actually recover the deleted recording using the Zoom REST API. Okay. So for that, we first need to create a cost variable for the relative path inside the Zoom constant. We say cost recover recording and we need to pass meeting UUID. You must be need to pass meeting UUID for this endpoint. You cannot pass meeting ID in teacher format. Okay. So we need to use the string interpolation and then we need to call recordings. And here we need to pass the meeting UUID. And you can see here inside the recordings helper, we are calling the recording base API and inside the recording base API, we are already double encoding. So you must be double encode this meeting UUID. Okay. And then at the end, we need to append the status. Okay. So basically, this is the relative path called status where we can put the payload with the action recover and we will recover the recording using the Zoom REST API. Now we need to export this. At the bottom, we say recover recording, need to farm it. And inside the Zoom recording helper, we first need to import that. So here we can say recover recording at the bottom. We need to create a helper called recover cloud recording AC and here we need to pass the meeting UUID and we need to pass the payload we need to define the body inside the meeting UUID you need to pass a unique grid of that meeting and this API have a light rate limit you can only send 30 requests per second with a pro plan and you can send 80 requests per second with business plus okay and you must be have a recording right or recording right admin scope so any one scope you have then you will be able to request this endpoint to recover the recording okay inside the payload you can set the action parameter or action field value allowed value for this action is only recover you can set the value in the type of string and you can pass recover okay and now let's start to build the access request so here we say const data say await access here we need to build the url and we will build the url from the helper recover recording we need to pass the meeting uuid we need to set the method put okay need to set the data payload and here we set the headers. Inside the headers, we need to set the authorization header. We need to use the string interpolation. Here we say bearer. Need to pass process dot env dot access token. Okay. And we need to bind then response. We need to return the response. Okay. Inside the cage, we say error. If error dot data then we need to return error dot data if not then we say something went wrong okay and at the bottom we need to return the data and we need to format the code and then we need to export this helper so here we say recover cloud recording need to format the code Inside the recording APIs, we first need to import that helper. So we say recover cloud recording. At the bottom, we need to build a endpoint called ape.put. And here we say slash API zoom recordings. And we need to say recover. And then we need to bind the handler, request handler. So we say async request response. Here we need to call the helper. So we say recovered recording result. Okay, we say await recover cloud recording and we need to pass the meeting UUID. We need to pass the meeting UUID from the query parameters. We cannot pass as a parameter, but we can pass that as a query parameter. So we say request dot query dot meeting UUID. Okay and we say request dot body okay because inside the meeting uuid maybe we have a slash or double slash inside that so we cannot pass directly inside the endpoint url 
and then we need to return the response notification we say recovered according result semicolon here need to format the code okay now just need to start the api npm start before we must be need to place the breakpoints here and here and then before sending the request if you have a oauth app on a zoom marketplace then you must be pretty sure that inside the scope you have a selected recording right scope okay now just let's authorize so we say api zoom authorize hit enter we are successfully authorized now just navigate to the recordings inside the zoom.vs slash recordings and we have a recording we just need to click that we will get the meeting id from here just cut that decode that paste it here decode we need to keep open that tape and now we need to delete this recording so move trash and you can see we do not have any recording inside the recording tape now just open the postman inside the postman inside the learn with me collection we need to add a request here we say recover allow recording and we change this to put here we say http local host for 4000 slash api slash zoom slash recordings slash recover okay we need to pass the meeting uuid here is we have a meeting uuid okay i think we need to copy the meeting uuid from here so it is the same meeting uuid we need to copy paste it here save this request inside the body just select raw set json and here just set action pass the value recover save and we need to send the request and we have successfully got the response 204 and we have recovered the recording now just refresh the recording tape inside the zoom.us slash recording just refresh you can see we have recovered that recording so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details hopefully we will come back with another session take care bye bye